पॉलिसी बाजार पर एक करोड़ रुपए का टर्म लाइफ इंश्योरेंस केवल चार सौ पचास रूपए महीने ऐसी शुरू इट्स थ्री डिग्रीज इन डेली टूडे इट्स द लोएस्ट टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सीजन इन फैक्ट and no respite is expected till the 7th of january there's also a cold wave in parts of haryana punjab north rajasthan and western uttar pradesh temperatures are around 2 to 6 degrees in northwest india and there's dense fog in parts of haryana delhi up bihar north rajasthan northern parts of mp as well as punjab now for the latest in delhi let's go across to my colleague tanushri pandey who's been out and about since the crack of dawn Tanushri how cold is it and can we expect any respite for the national capital and the NCR region this week Well Parmeshwar it's another day of bitter cold in the national capital and you know it's a scene which repeats itself every year where uh, the temperature keeps dropping and it comes to a point where it's it is absolutely uh, you know impossible for people especially the homeless people living on the streets to survive this kind of a bitter cold and yes uh, we are hearing that in the days to come there is going to be respite but at least for the next one week the temperature is going to drop and you know parmeshwar in this kind of a situation the worst sufferers remains to be the homeless people who for some reason uh, you know cannot go to the government sheltered homes most of them have been telling us that they are overcrowded but we are right now outside aims where we see uh, many uh, people who comes from different parts of the country to get their treatment here but in this kind of a bitter cold people patients here have to stay have to stay on the streets they have to spend their uh, wintry nights chilling cold nights on the streets uh, you know with with with, with uh, just a small thin layer of covering which is obviously uh, not keeping them warm and due to a very heavy footfall these patients cannot also be shifted inside aim so you can imagine parmeshwar that you know even if even as i am wearing at least four layers of uh, clothes it's not enough for this kind of winter imagine the situation of the homeless people who are sitting on the streets for many days and barely trying to struggle uh, with this kind of a delhi winter आपसे दो सेकंड बात कर पाऊंगी आप कहाँ से आए हैं मुझे बता सकते हैं श्रीनगर जिला से श्रीनगर से जिला से आए हैं तो आप लोग यहाँ अपने इलाज के लिए आए हैं हाँ बच्ची के इलाज के लिए आए तो आपका इतनी ठंड में इतनी सी ठंड में आप बच्चे और अपने को भी लेके बैठे चल जाता है आपका काम नहीं बहुत कष्ट में है हम लोग हमारे पास यहाँ फुटबाल पर सो रहे हैं जी आप लोग कब से रह रहे हैं यहाँ पे आठ दिन हो गया हम लोग आठ दिन हो गया सड़क पे बैठे हाँ So you know, Parmeshwar, just imagine the situation where uh, a lady with her son is just sharing one small thin layer of uh, blanket, and they are sitting on the streets for the last eight days. Uh, there is another person who just told me that he is from Bihar. He is sitting here for the last two weeks, and they just have uh, one blanket to share between four family members. Mata ji, आप आप कहाँ से आए हैं? बता सकते हैं? हम बाहर से आए हैं. जी. तो आपका इतने में काम चल जाता है आप तो अभी भी काम रहे हैं देख सकते ये बताइए जब गरज बस आयल बन जाते नहीं मैं काम चलो न चलो अब कर खाती का कल जाए अब कोई हमके जमीन बसे के ना नहीं जदी so she still uh, as the lady was speaking to me and uh, she still you know shivering so we can imagine that what the homeless people must be going through at this kind uh, you know at this point of time where the temperature is continuously dropping today as you rightly mentioned delhi recorded a minimum temperature of uh, 2.8 degrees celsius and in this kind of a bitter cold uh, the worst sufferer remains to be the people the homeless people who are living on the streets because they need all kind of covering to keep warm but unfortunately so they are not not getting it and they have to uh, you know uh, spend their chilly nights out on the streets and this kind of a winter parmeshwar we have seen in the past have also been blamed for killing uh, you know scores of uh, homeless people but this time around it's more cold and let's really hope that they get some kind of help they get some kind of a roof uh, over their you know over their head so that they do not have to live on the streets but what we can show you right now on the ground that even if uh, even as the temperature is continuously dropping the people living on the streets are the worst sufferers as they do not have su- enough clothes they do not have enough covering and they have to live on the streets with this kind of a uh, you know temperature where delhi has today recorded 3 degrees celsius back to you parmeshwar
The homeless people are bearing the brunt of this bitter chill, as Tanushree has highlighted. Thank you, Tanushree, for joining us with that update. It's a bitter winter for the homeless indeed. If you can, do donate a blanket. NDTV has a partnership with Uday Foundation. We get you the details in a moment. But let's get you a quick weather update now. Joining us, Mahesh Palavat from SkyMet Weather. Do Mr. Palavat, Delhi has recorded the lowest temperature of the season. How long can we expect the cold wave conditions to last around the NCR region? I see permission now the temperature uh, are dipping uh, and uh, we can say that uh, Delhi is experiencing the severe winter condition and uh, the northerly winds will continue until January 7 over Delhi and NCR including Northwest India, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, all these areas uh, will experience a severe cold wave condition until January 7. Thereafter, uh, western disturbance will approach western Himalayas leading to uh, this cutoff of northerly winds. And the temperatures may increase by 2 to 3 degrees Celsius, giving some relief. But after the passage of Western disturbance, by 13th of January, temperatures will once again head south. And uh, we can say the temperature may go down uh, to 2 to 3 degrees Celsius once again. Yeah. Right, so we still have to wait till the January 7th for some sort of respite. Mr. Balavad, dense fog in Gulf parts of Haryana, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh... Bihar, North Rajasthan, as well as parts of MP and Punjab. When can we expect respite for North India as far as this winter chill is concerned? I see, for next two to three days, we expect that fog will continue. But the, uh, the uh, th fog layer is very thin because there was no rain. Uh, the winter rain was uh, almost absent from entire Northwest India, which is normal and normally occurs during month of uh, November, December and January. But until now, we have not seen any uh, rain activities, winter rain and humidity is not very high. So the uh, thick layer of uh, fog is not there, but, uh, but uh, we can say that uh, the, this type of fog, the thin layer of fog will continue, will persist for at least uh, next uh, two to three days. Thereafter, there may be some respite, uh, but there will not be significant respites. Uh, temperatures may inch up uh, by two to three degree, both uh, day and night temperature by 8th and 9th of January. But uh, the relief will be uh, short-lived and after 13th of January, temperature will once again drop. So the relief will be uh, marginal, not significant. Right, so the four conditions are expected to continue for the next two to three days, as Mr. Palavats highlighted. Also, sir, this chilly winter that North India is currently witnessing, is this a normal trend that you've observed before? Is it particularly colder and worse this year? Uh, usually by uh, last week of, from uh, last week of uh, December to 10th of January or 12th of January, uh, temperatures are lowest in Delhi and Nathya region, including Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, West Uttar Pradesh, all these Northwest India experience a severe cold during this period. And by uh, after 15th of January, temperature starts increasing. And uh, as the uh, sun starts uh, coming up, or you can say uh, moving north, uh, uh, and uh, temperature start increasing, and day also, uh, the length of day also starts increasing. Uh, so uh, this is the normal trend. Uh, but sometimes it happens that severe cold wave conditions continue for uh, two to three days, sometimes with a gap of two to three days. And again, uh, the, this type of episode uh, occurs over uh, Northwest India. But this is normal. Yeah. Right. So this is normal. It's not extraordinary, as Mr. Palavat from Sky Met Weather has highlighted. Thank you so much, Mahesh Palavat, as always, for joining us.